here we came to track down one of the more exciting projects in 2018, a project called Origo. Baron Gong is here with me. Baron, thank you for coming on Crypto Trader. Thank you. Baron, what's all the hype about? What's Origo? Um, let's put it this way. Uh, there are privacy projects like Monero and Zcash. Uh, they focus more on the privacy part for transactions on blockchain. And that's important because um, some companies don't want yeah. details of their payments exposed. Sure. And also your like your financial balance, records and th things like that. And there's another space on the, on the application level which is privacy for smart contracts. And why that's important is because actually all data on the blockchain is transparent. Everybody yes. can see it. Yes. So when we start launching, launching dApps, it means that essentially all the details for all the customers on the dApp would be visible on the blockchain. Yes, that's the current issue of that. I mean, you're using the benefits of the blockchain, but then you have to sacrifice and get a privacy even more. Uh, as for now, for the mm -hmm. protocol, you should assume that the encrypted data, okay. data is always there. Okay. <laughs> So you're all about privacy on the blockchain and specifically not privacy in the transactive layer, which is where Zcash and Monero have transacted, but actually a much broader Yes, I would say we include private transactions because a lot of the times the outcome of a smart contract or a dApps involves monetary transaction. Yes. So it doesn't make sense to just hide the data, but now the money, right? Yes. So we're hiding both. Now you talk about technology like yours. What is your technology? So basically, we implement a cryptography method called zero knowledge proof mm -hmm. uh, on top of a smart contract. When it's related to sensitive data, we pack it with some, something named zero knowledge proof circuits. So what zero knowledge proof does is it actually says somebody who is verified yes. knows the answer. Yes. But we're not going to show you the answer, but because the person is verified, yes. or the node is verified, yes. then you know that it's safe. Yes. But we're not going to show you what it is. Yes, now is exactly. So you're taking that technology and applying it onto smart contracts. Yes. Uh, as you said, a verif a verification is very important for decentralization because everybody has to verify something before they can reach a consensus, right? Yeah, we can make change on, on the uh, project side. Okay. Later, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, zero knowledge proofs is not a new thing, right? I mean, yes. Zero knowledge proofs, many other projects are doing it. Yes. What is unique about the way that you guys are doing it? Yeah, I mean, there are several pieces uh, in, in the zero, no zero knowledge proof tech uh, that we're, we're working on to improve. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, compiling uh, the compiler. Um, uh, if you want to convert like the general high level programming language into this kind of zero knowledge proof circuits, yeah. you have to use something like a compiler. Yes. Uh, because zero knowledge proof is run based on circuits. It's very different. If you look at the circuit, it's very different from programming language. But, but I mean, original smart contract is written in programming languages, right? Yeah. You have to convert these. So, so are you simplifying it? Yeah, we're simplifying that. Uh, we're also building a compiler so that developers can actually uh, just convert their programming language into circuits and use it in our protocol.